My dear friends, today we gather here, not just as individuals with our own struggles and burdens, but as a community, a family, united by our faith and our shared journey. I want to speak to you from the heart about something we all experience, problems. We all face challenges, big or small, that weigh us down, make us feel lost, and sometimes make us wonder if we can keep going. But I'm here to tell you that no matter how tough things get, you can count on God to help you overcome your problems. Life can be hard, and I know that some of you are carrying heavy burdens right now. You might be dealing with financial stress, family conflicts, health issues, or just the pressure of trying to keep it all together. When everything seems to be falling apart, it can feel overwhelming. Like you're stuck in a dark tunnel with no light at the end. But my friends, let me remind you that you are not alone. God sees your struggles. He knows what you're going through and he cares deeply about you. I want you to picture something with me for a moment. Imagine a small child trying to carry a heavy load. The load is so big and heavy that the child stumbles and struggles, barely able to take another step. But then, a loving parent comes along, gently lifts that burden and carries it for the child. The child's face lights up with relief and peace, knowing that they don't have to carry it alone anymore. This is what God does for us. He is that loving parent who sees us struggling under the weight of our problems and steps in to lift that burden. When you're tired and worn out from trying to solve everything on your own, God is there, ready to carry the load for you. Now, I know that when you're in the middle of a difficult situation, it's hard to see how things will get better. It's hard to trust that God is working behind the scenes when all you see is chaos and confusion. But I want you to know that God's ways are higher than our ways. He has a plan for your life, a plan that includes victory over the problems you face. Sometimes we think we have to solve everything ourselves. We think we have to have all the answers, be strong all the time and never show weakness. But God never asked us to carry that burden alone. He wants us to lean on Him, to trust in His strength and His wisdom. When you count on God, you're not just hoping for a miracle. You're placing your life in the hands of the one who created you, who loves you more than you can imagine, and who has the power to do the impossible. There will be times when you feel like giving up, times when the weight of your problems feels too heavy to bear. But in those moments, I want you to remember this. God is with you. He is for you. He is not going to let you down. He is going to take that heavy load and turn it into something beautiful. Think about the times in your life when you faced something you thought you'd never overcome. Maybe it was a broken relationship, a financial crisis, or a deep sense of loss. At the time, it felt like the end of the road, didn't it? But here you are today, standing strong, still moving forward. That's not by accident. That's God at work in your life, bringing you through the fire, refining you, and making you stronger than you ever thought possible. God doesn't just want you to survive your problems. He wants you to thrive through them. He wants to show you His power in the midst of your weakness. He wants to fill your heart with hope and peace, even when everything around you seems uncertain. And He wants to remind you that your problems, no matter how big they seem, are not bigger than Him. Friends, as we go through this life, there will always be challenges, but we don't have to face them with fear or doubt. We can face them with faith, knowing that we have a God who is bigger than any problem, who is able to do more than we can ask or imagine. So, let me ask you today, what are you carrying that you need to give to God? What burden have you been trying to handle on your own? I encourage you to take a moment right now and surrender it to Him.
lay it down at his feet and trust that he will take care of you. Beloved, remember that you don't have to walk alone. We are here for each other, and most importantly, God is here for you. Count on him, trust in his love, and watch as he helps you overcome every problem you face. This is just the beginning, my friends. God has so much more in store for you. As we continue this message, let's dive even deeper into what it means to count on God to overcome your problems. Life has a way of throwing curveballs at us, doesn't it? Just when you think you've got everything under control, something unexpected comes along and knocks you off balance. It could be an unexpected bill, a sudden illness, or even just the stress of everyday life. But it's in these moments of uncertainty that we have the greatest opportunity to grow our faith and to lean on God like never before. You see, my friends, God doesn't want us to just survive through our problems. He wants us to grow through them. He wants to use these challenges to strengthen our faith, to deepen our faith, to deepen our relationship with Him, and to shape us into the people He created us to be. And sometimes, that means taking us through some tough times. But here's the beautiful thing. God never wastes a hurt. He never lets us go through pain without a purpose. When you're in the middle of a problem, it's easy to focus on the pain, the discomfort, and the uncertainty. But what if we could shift our focus? What if, instead of looking at how big our problems are, we started looking at how big our God is? What if we could see our challenges, not as obstacles, but as opportunities for God to show up and show off in our lives? I know that's easier said than done. When you're facing a mountain of bills, when your health is failing, or when your relationships are strained, it's hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But that's exactly why we need to count on God. Because He sees what we can't. He knows the beginning from the end, and He's already working things out for your good. Think about the times in your life when you faced a problem and you thought there was no way out. Maybe you were facing a financial crisis and you didn't know how you were going to make it through the month. Maybe you were dealing with a broken heart and you couldn't imagine ever feeling whole again. But somehow, some way, you made it through. Maybe it was a kind word from a friend, an unexpected financial blessing, or just the strength to get out of bed and face another day. Those were not coincidences, my friends. Those were moments when God stepped in and carried you through. But here's the thing. God doesn't want to just help you through one problem and then leave you to figure out the rest on your own. He wants to be with you in every moment, in every struggle, in every victory. He wants you to know that you can count on Him. Not just in the big things, but in the small things too. Sometimes, we think that our problems are too small to bother God with. We think He's got bigger things to worry about, or I should be able to handle this on my own. But God cares about every detail of your life. There is nothing too small or too insignificant to bring to Him. He wants to be involved in every part of your life because He loves you that much. So... What does it look like to count on God in the middle of your problems? It means turning to Him first before you try to solve things on your own. It means asking Him for guidance, for wisdom, and for strength. It means trusting that even when you can't see the way forward, He's already making a way for you. It also means letting go of the need to control everything. I know that can be hard. We want to have all the answers, to fix things on our own, to feel like we're in control. But the truth is, we're not. And that's okay, because we serve a God who is. When you let go and let God take control, you're not giving up. You're giving in to a power greater than yourself, 
a power that can move mountains and calm storms. Maybe you've been holding on to your problems so tightly because you're afraid of what will happen if you let go. Maybe you've been trying to fix everything on your own because you're afraid to trust anyone else, even God. But my friends, God is trustworthy. He's proven it time and time again. He's never failed you, and he's not about to start now. My friends, I want to encourage you to take a moment and think about the problems you're facing right now. What are the things that are weighing you down, stealing your joy, and keeping you up at night? Whatever it is, I want you to bring it to God. Lay it at his feet and trust that he will take care of it. Trust that he will take care of you. Now, my dear friends, we'll dive into how God's word can be a source of comfort and strength and how these verses can encourage us to keep going, even when the road is tough. One of the most comforting verses in the Bible is found in Psalm 46. One, which says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. This verse reminds us that God is our safe place, our shelter in times of storm. When the winds of life are blowing hard and we feel like we're about to be swept away, God is the rock that we can cling to. He's not just a distant deity. He's a very present help right there with us in our moments of need. When you're facing problems that seem overwhelming, remember that you can run to God. He is your refuge. He is your strength. No matter how weak you feel, God is strong enough to carry you through. He never leaves you to face your challenges alone. In Philippians 4.19, we read, And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. This verse is a powerful reminder that God knows what we need, and he is faithful to provide. Sometimes, we worry about how things will work out, how we'll make ends meet, or how we'll find a way through. But this verse reassures us that God is our provider. He has endless resources, and He cares deeply about our needs. When you feel anxious about your circumstances, remember that God has promised to supply your needs. Trust that He is working things out behind the scenes, even when you can't see the way forward. He is faithful to take care of you, and He will not let you down. Jeremiah 29 11 is a verse that many people hold close to their hearts. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. This verse reminds us that God has good plans for our lives. Even when we can't see the bigger picture, God is orchestrating things for our benefit. His plans are not to harm us, but to give us hope and a future. When you're in the midst of a problem, it's easy to lose sight of the fact that God has a good plan for you. But hold on to this truth. God's plans are better than anything we could imagine. He sees the end from the beginning, and He knows how to turn even the most difficult situations into something beautiful. Romans 8, 28 is a verse that brings hope to many. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. This verse reminds us that God is able to take even the worst situations and work them out for our good. It doesn't mean that everything we go through will be easy, but it means that God can bring good out of every situation. When you're facing a difficult problem, remember that God is at work. He's not distant or detached from your struggles. He's actively involved in your life, turning things around for your good and for His glory. Trust that even when things look bleak, God is weaving a beautiful tapestry from the threads of your life. Matthew 28. 20 offers a comforting promise, and surely I am with you, always, to the very end of the age. Jesus' words remind us that we are never alone. 
No matter where we go or what we face, God is with us. His presence is a constant source of comfort, guidance, and strength. When you feel isolated in your problems, remember that God is right there with you. You don't have to face anything on your own. He is walking beside you, supporting you, and carrying you through. Now, my dear friends, I want to speak directly to your heart about how God will solve your problems. This is something that we all need to hear, especially when life feels heavy and the road ahead seems uncertain. It's important to know that God doesn't just see our problems. He has a plan to bring us through them. Let's talk about this in a way that's simple and easy to understand. God's timing is perfect. First, let's talk about timing. Sometimes it feels like we've been waiting forever for a solution to our problems. We pray and hope, but it seems like nothing is happening. It's easy to get discouraged, but we must remember that God's timing is always perfect. He knows the best moment to step in and turn things around. He's never late, even though it might feel like it to us. Think about it this way. God sees the whole picture. He knows what needs to happen and when. While we might want things to change immediately, God is working out a perfect plan. That's for our good. So when you're feeling anxious or impatient, remind yourself that God's timing is flawless. Trust that He will act at the right time. God's solutions are often unexpected. Another thing to remember is that God's solutions are often different from what we expect. We might have a certain idea of how we want our problems to be solved, but God knows what's best for us. He might solve your problem in a way that surprises you, something you never even considered. God has a way of working things out that is beyond our understanding. Maybe you're looking for an answer in one direction, but God is preparing something better in another direction. Be open to the unexpected. God's ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Trust that He knows what He's doing, even if it doesn't make sense to you right now. God works through our weakness. Now, let's talk about something that might be hard to hear. But it's important. Sometimes, God allows us to go through difficult situations to show us His strength. When we feel weak, when we've reached the end of our own abilities, that's when God can truly shine in our lives. In those moments, when you feel like you can't go on, when your strength is gone, that's when God steps in. He gives you the strength you need to keep going. He works through your weakness to show you that His grace is sufficient. So, if you're feeling weak today, don't be discouraged. God is with you, and His strength is made perfect in your weakness. God hears and answers our prayers. Let's not forget the power of prayer. When you bring your problems to God in prayer, you're not just speaking into the air. You're talking to a loving Father who hears every word. God hears your cries your worries, and your fears. He knows exactly what you're going through, and He cares deeply. When you pray, you're inviting God to work in your life. You're acknowledging that you need His help, and that's a powerful thing. God promises to hear and answer our prayers, though sometimes the answer comes in a different form than we expected. But rest assured, He is listening and He's working on your behalf. God will never leave you alone. One of the most comforting truths is that God will never leave you to face your problems alone. He walks with you through every valley, through every dark night, and through every storm. You are never alone, no matter how lonely you might feel. God is right there with you, holding your hand, guiding your steps, and comforting your heart. When the world feels heavy and you're struggling under the weight of your problems, remember that God is carrying you 
He is your strength when you're weak, your light when the path is dark, and your hope when things seem hopeless. You don't have to carry your burdens by yourself. God is with you, and He will never leave your side. God will turn your situation around. Finally, I want to remind you that God is in the business of turning situations around. What might seem impossible to you is possible with God. He can take the most hopeless situation and breathe new life into it. He can open doors that no one can shut and make a way where there seems to be no way. If you're facing a situation that feels impossible, remember that nothing is too hard for God. He is the God of miracles, and He delights in showing His power in our lives. Trust Him to turn things around for you. It might not happen overnight, but keep the faith. God is at work, and He is faithful to complete what He has started in your life. We've talked about how God solves our problems in ways that are beyond our understanding. His timing is perfect, His solutions are often unexpected, and He works through our weaknesses to show His strength. He hears our prayers, He never leaves us alone, and He is more than capable of turning our situations around. My dear friends, counting on God to overcome your problems is not just a one-time decision. It's a daily choice. It's a choice to trust, to pray, to surrender, and to keep your eyes fixed on Him. It's a journey of faith, and it's one that we're all on together. As we move forward, let's encourage each other to keep counting on God. Let's remind each other of His faithfulness, His promises, and His love. And let's keep believing that no matter what we face, God is bigger, stronger, and more powerful than any problem that comes our way. God is with you, my friends. He is for you, and He will help you overcome every challenge you face. So, keep counting on Him. Keep trusting in His plan, and watch as He does amazing things in your life. The best is yet to come, and with God on your side, there is nothing that you can't overcome. Now, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you today feeling a bit overwhelmed. Life has its challenges, and sometimes it's hard to see the way forward. But I know you are with me, and that gives me hope. Please help me to trust you with all my problems. I know you have a plan for me, even when I don't understand what's happening. Give me the patience to wait for your timing and the strength to keep going when I feel weak. I ask for your peace to fill my heart, especially when I'm worried or afraid. Remind me that I'm not alone and that you are guiding me through every step of my journey. Thank you for always listening to my prayers and for being with me through everything. I trust that you will help me find a way through this, and I'm grateful for your love and support. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.